There are several things that we always talk about when doing surgical extractions. The main are that there's enough exposure and that you have adequate bone removal or alveolectomy, so removal of the bone overlying the tooth. Exposure is very important because there should be no reason that you put a high-speed handpiece into an area that you can't see. So that's almost a no-brainer, but a lot of times people don't give themselves enough room to work. Making an adequate surgical flap is, is really important. So anytime, especially it's a more difficult tooth or a retained tooth root, making a larger flap or an adequate flap to begin with is half the battle. And then, like I said, adequate bone removal. So. We always start, depending on you know what you read and who taught you, we start around half amount of bone off the side of the, the root. But sometimes there's resorption or ankylosis or all the things that make dental extractions unique and wonderful. But um, start with around half or so, okay? Make sure you have an x-ray up of the tooth that you're extracting. That way you can see the anatomy, right? No, no animal is normal. None actually have the normal dentition that they should have with the normal amount of roots. So have the x-ray up so that you can see it while you're extracting the tooth and that way it can help you know the anatomy that you're working on. So those are kind of our two ones. And then if a root breaks, I mean, the more dentistry you do, the more you're going to break roots and that's perfectly fine. But make sure then that you, again, look, do you have enough exposure? Do you need to make the flap larger? And then do you need to remove, remove safely a little bit more bone? I'd rather that um, any of the the uh, doctors that I'm teaching remove a little bit more and safely extract than stick high speeds where they can't see where they're going or put too much force on the tooth and then they push it into a place that shouldn't go.